good morning good afternoon good evening welcome to another youtube video of mine and i know i haven't made a youtube video in a while and that's because i've been playing many games many new games that have come out or trying to play other games that i haven't played before and one of these games that i am now playing is called Yu-Gi-Oh! master duel and let me tell you this game is absolutely amazing before we get into me telling you about Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, let me just tell you about my background on Yu-Gi-Oh! overall. I was introduced to Yu-Gi-Oh! about a year ago from my older brother, and the game I was introduced to was Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. And uh, after a while, after he taught me how to play the game, and that it's, it's, it's not bad at all. I actually got into it and I think it's pretty fun. Yu-Gi-Oh! is a pretty fun game in my opinion. I have watched the show and that stuff goes pretty wild, you know. But I also enjoy the Yu-Gi-Oh! card game as well. And for a while now I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! on Duel Links and I love everything about how it can be competitive and like how you can make your own decks and everything or you can follow in other people's footsteps you know uh, I just wish that more and more people would get introduced to this game or Yu-Gi-Oh overall because it's amazing in my opinion after my brother introduced it to my to me by no means am I a pro at the game but I do enjoy it and I love getting better at making my deck and beating people up and like absolutely destroying them with my big brain IQ plays you know but where the thing the thing about Yu-Gi-Oh is like you people see people it it looks too complicated to people that's what I hear a lot and all you literally all you got to do is read that's all the game is that's in my opinion and I think that's very cool and I'm here today to tell you play play the newest game come on it's amazing master duel is amazing i don't know if it's beginner friendly it may be but i haven't i just skipped i just skipped like i just destroyed the tutorial scene so uh i believe people should go and play master duel and let me tell you why when you start the game you can already tell that the game is much more pleasing to the eyes than any other game any other Yu-Gi-Oh game that I know of you know um, and I really like the customization options in here and not only that there's um there's a whole bunch more cards in this game where people can pick and choose how they want to play the game and whenever you go online there's a lot of variety of what decks people play and how they play it and I enjoy that a lot I love seeing new decks and seeing how people use them to to beat up my card you know but i'm a i'm a red eyes main i'm a red eyes guy i think red eyes is cool so i'm sticking with red eyes at times i may change up my deck though another thing is that the currency in this game is really easy to get in i i enjoy the currency in this game there's no premium currency that i know of that you can get in the game either everything you can get with the in-game currency that you get from doing missions or you can pay for some but even then I don't think it's even worth it to pay for the gems because you can just get so much from doing the missions and that's why I think the balance of the gems in this game the currency is amazing yeah I was surprised because I thought they was gonna overprice them and everything but no I think it's pretty balanced See, when you get used to playing Yu-Gi-Oh! or playing with your deck, I believe it'll be more fun because that's what happened with me. Uh, I'm just going off of my experience with Yu-Gi-Oh! right? But with this game, uh, although it may be a lot of words on the cards, right? It doesn't, once you learn what each card does in your deck or what each meta card does, it becomes easy to control and do your plays faster um and that's why i think that just putting in a bit of time to get to know about the game of Yu-Gi-Oh or master duel itself could really open up more people 
in coming into Yu-Gi-Oh! and playing it for fun. There's even a solo mode in the game where you can earn rewards from doing like stories or, or little stages and everything. And I think that's pretty cool. And you guys should definitely try and do those before you go play online in my opinion. Or try and make the best deck you or find a deck you can online that's good and try and make that deck before you play online because people be popping off online I swear <laughs> you may be concerned about the card packs and everything from gems and stuff but even if you don't get your cards that you want from the cards the, from the card pack you open there's a really well I think in my opinion a really well crafting system in this game where you earn points from dismantling cards and taking points from them and like putting them to make more cards and they give you a decent amount for each card I think I think that is really well balanced and I think it's perfect in my opinion I hope they implement this in other games in the future or other events you know um, yeah I also want to say that Yu-Gi-Oh may not be the game for you and that's okay you know you don't need to play Yu-Gi-Oh! I just think it's a better and new experience for people who have never played card games. Um, I've never really played a card game myself. Yu-Gi-Oh! was my was the card game I play. Is the card game I play. And I think it's really fun for people who don't know how to play it. <laughs> because you get to learn how to use things and do big brain plays and you feel smart each time it's like it's like each time you destroy a car your brain is just like growing with how big brain you are it, it makes it i guess it builds up your self-confidence in a way i don't even know man other than that i i just wanted to make a video because i haven't made one in a long time and i wanted to get back on that youtube grind you know uh hopefully I can continue to make these YouTube videos and as you can see the gameplay that's going on in this video is much more smooth than any other before and that's because I figured out that it's the software I'm using that was messing everything up on my other playthrough of Sonic and Knuckles I mean you can go watch it if you want but it's gonna be really laggy Sonic the Sonic and Knuckles playthrough is gonna be really laggy and messed up the frame weight is pretty goofy but other than that thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day please sub it would be really helpful if you did you know I'm a small guy and I'm trying to get big goodbye